Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. We're here, we try to make sense of this crazy Arizona market. Do me a favor and smash that like button and our temperatures will be down to the mid 70s next week. Actually, they're gonna go ahead and do that anyway, but I just thought I'd ask. So uh, looking at how people price their homes and I'm still seeing agents put a listing out and they'll say $40,000 below recent comps. Okay, what are the comps? Because right now, you can't go back and look at history on sales and base your current price on going back two to three months. You can, if inventory is shrinking and sales are going up, you can do that. But if inventory is going up and sales are going down, you're not going to get what your next door neighbor got. Now, it's helpful to look at what's been listed and how long it's been on the market. That's a good comparison, but just going and, and doing a random, take an average, you know, I want, I got a 2,500 square foot home. Uh, in the last three months, they've sold for an average of five and a quarter. So I'm gonna make this one 500. Well, the last one probably sold for 490 or 475. So in a environment where sales are going down, and inventory is going up, you're going to have to be ahead of the pricing curve on the downside. How much? Depends. Let me share some numbers with you. This is sales per month, and it's interesting right now that when you look here, down at this spot right here, that they've actually creeped up a little. But they had a huge fall here. So sales are obviously dropping over the course of the year. Why it's going up right now may just be because uh, it's an interesting phenomenon. When uh, interest rates go up, sometimes people jump out there because they're worried they're going to go up even farther. So they accelerate their, their purchasing plans. But then you look at this, and this is listing success rate. Right down here, it's actually about 68%. So only 68% of people listing their homes are successful in selling them. Now that's that's not a bad number, but keep in mind that we were sitting up there around 92%. So if the listing success rate's at 92%, you can price aggressively because you're the odds are in your favor. You get down that 60% range, you can't price aggressively and you can't even price at par. You have to be careful because what you really want, I mean, you can go ahead and try it, but I suggest that you have your agent do a really comprehensive poll of what's actually for sale in the neighborhood. Compare it to your house. How does it look? Is it better? Is it worse? How long has it been sitting there? Um, you know, it. everybody feels that their house is the bell of the ball. I get that. But you have to really drill down into what, what's going on here and now. There's another watch out out there that I'm surprised they're still doing it. And I'm going to pick a city that uh, is not from here so that I don't accidentally grab somebody's home and you go, hey, you creep, why are you showing my home on the internet? But uh, this is our friends at Zillow here and they've got this home listed for 460000 This is up where I grew up. And uh, look what they did. They have a Zestimate in here of 440200 I believe you can get that changed if you contact Zillow. But if you're an agent and your agent is posting your house above what Zillow says, even though Zillow is hardly ever accurate, this is where people go. It's a huge red flag. They're going to go, wait a minute, why am I going to give you 460 if Zillow says it's 444? So you need to take a peek at that first. Now Redfin's doing the same thing. This house is 310000 right here. And they have a Redfin estimate of 309850 Now, those estimates, guess what those estimates are, folks? They're algorithms. They're computer systems going back. It's pulling tax records, pulling, re pulling recent sales, last month, month before that, month before that, averaging them out. They're not at all looking at current trends. So if you pull up any online calculator, it's just going to take the average and say, here you go. 
it doesn't say, okay, here's the average, but inventory is now at 20,000 units, and we only have, we're only moving about 2,300 units every seven days. It doesn't pull that data. It doesn't look at that. That's why you, you really need to sit down and work with somebody to determine what the price of your home is because the computer's just not going to do it. They're not going to know it. And then guess what? You you put your house on the market for 310. Zillow said it was worth 320 and you're going, well, I don't get it. My house didn't sell because Zillow says it's worth 310 or 320 and I'm at 310. Well, it's probably only worth 290 now because Zillow didn't factor in the market, didn't factor in the inventory and the actual trends. Now, appraisers do this when they're looking at homes, and they'll start doing some trend analysis, too. If they see that every month the price is going down and it looks like it's a trend, they're going to have to factor that in on their appraisals, take that under consideration. These online aggregators here, they don't have to do any of that. Uh, Redfin can continue to spit out a wrong number all year, and it won't affect them one iota, but it will affect you. So you need a pricing strategy. And by a pricing strategy is that, first of all, don't pick the realtor that just says, well, I can get you this. They can't get you squat. What they can do is market your house and get it in front of as many people as they can. And then the market will tell you what your house is worth. I can tell you your house. I can get you 500000 for your house. I don't know that. I can say, well, let's put it at 500000 Let's watch the traffic. Let's go on the MLS. Let's see how many people looked at it and how many people have saved it. Let's take a look at the traffic. If it looks like you're not getting a lot of views and you're not getting a lot of interest, we're too high. So let's talk about what the next price reduction is going to be now so that we're not in a panic. So if I call you on Monday and go, you know, we've had this listed since Thursday and nobody's looked at it. What would you like to do next week? As we talked, we talked that maybe we would go down another $10,000 in two weeks. So is that how you're still feeling now? And so then that doesn't end up being that phone call that's the, that, that people just don't like. So you're going to want to agree with the strategy. So you're going to want to say, well, I agree with what we're both seeing that my house is possibly worth. And if we're wrong, then I'm willing to make a couple of adjustments down the road. I want to wait three weeks and then I'll lower it by 15 grand. And if it's still on the market three weeks after that, then maybe I'll go down another 15. That's how you want to price in this market because it's not going to do you any good to go to these online companies, find a value, and then find a realtor that agrees with that value because you're just going to shoot yourself in the foot. So I hope that helps. Good luck in selling your home in this market. 66% of them are still going, right? 66% listing success rate. Why is that? They priced correctly or they accepted an offer uh, that they could live with. So that's the way the market is right now. It's probably going to be that way for a while. So pay attention to the numbers and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.